You know, I had a thought on my way over to McDonald's for my food. See? Two cheeseburgers. <coughs> I had a really interesting thought on my walk back uh, to base to have my dinner for the evening. And um, it was a really interesting thought. And it's kind of like, well, let's say you went back in time. Not very far back. Let's just say to the, uh, say half a century. Let's say we went back uh, in time to the 1970s, right? The advent of computers just started, right? The computers were an entire building thick. You could not go anywhere without in the building without stepping on a computer or stepping near a computer or being by a computer. In fact, the 70s, the rocket that took the men to the moon was running off of three megs per second. We can't even go a day without a gig per second per second internet speed now. Um, and imagine, you went back in time, you could show them, hey, this is what's called a cell phone. You're gonna have these available in the 80s. They're not gonna be as nice as this, but in the early 2000s, they get a lot nicer. And you've got all these applications that you can run on it. It's basically a computer in the palm of your hand. And they'll probably give you a blank stare and tell you to go to the insane asylum down the street because why? They've never seen anything like it. Another thing that they wouldn't understand is back then, Military aircraft were not stealth. You tell them we have stealth aircraft, they're gonna say, well, what's so stealthy about it? Well, the fact that it can be undetectable by radar is stealth. Yeah, you can actually do that, actually, in the past and cause so much fucking chaos. In fact, if you went down to the turn of the century, to 1900, you could say, hey, I predict in the next 30 years, there's gonna be two world wars. You're not gonna like it. You're gonna tolerate it. But hey, America's gonna win. And your most hated adversaries during both wars are gonna actually become really nice people to have dinner with at a table later on down the line after Russia releases their hold on the country. Yeah, quite literally, you could go back to the past and say whatever the fuck you want. Uh, let's go back to when Nikola Tesla and a bunch of his inventions were going on. And he basically had the idea for cell towers before cell towers became a thing. Imagine, if you will, telling Nikola Tesla in front of Alexander Graham Bell that he's on the right track. Alexander Graham Bell don't know sh shit. And we have inter the internet 50 years prior because of it. Imagine all these things that could change if we were to go back in time and explain how the future is going to actually be. That was just an interesting thought I had. Now, is it Possible? Yes. There have been uh, tests where people have astral traveled to the past, present, and future, uh, other planets, and other things as well. Um, and there are also uh, government projects that have still been ongoing but haven't been funded in years that deal in time travel too. Um, but I don't know any of the real project's names other than Project Pegasus. That was the only one that I know that has been declassed. And even then, it wasn't a pretty picture. But that is one of the few time travel t 
mechanics that we have available and lying around in a warehouse somewhere because the government does not release things to the public. In fact, the smartphone with the glass that you have and that I'm recording on, guess what? That was invented in the 80s by the government. It was not released to the public until like 40 years later, I think. Now that is truly a heinous act. The internet was invented for government use only in the 70s. Government use only it was released publicly in the 90s. That fact made my brain hurt as soon as I heard that. Yeah, it really made my brain hurt. <clears throat> the iPhone was actually invented by the government 20 years ago. Steve Jobs was able to, with the permission of the secret government, the government that rules the government uh, from behind the shadows, all of our leaders are puppets. The only one that didn't conform to being a puppet who's not in office right now and is currently not dead because they're scared of him is... Donald Trump, but hey, that's just a theory I have. But hey, um, anyway, with that being said, this has been my video on what would happen if we actually time traveled back to the past and were able to tell the people in the past how the future was going to be. Do you think they'd actually look at it at the same in, in the same way? Or do you think the future would be changed ultimately for the better or worse? Leave a comment down below because, uh, honestly, I'm really interested in uh, what feedback I get for this. Anyways, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And this is your host, LegoBrad86, signing out. Thank you. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye.